Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm very happy to be here tonight, uh, participating in an event that is actually very close to my heart. Um, having worked many years in uh, European diplomacy and development issues, I've been inspired by the writings of the traveling of Kapuczynski and his um, approach to development. The European Union has more than half a century experience and engagement in development efforts, in development policies and in development assistance. Following Kapuczynski uh, motto, to judge something, you have to be there, the European Union is present in more than 140 countries around the world. We've been working hard together with partners like South Africa to assist countries attaining the Millennium Development Goals the eight goals adopted by all the UN member states and international organizations back in 2000 to end poverty. Each goal has specific target and timelines. But as Kapuczynski said in an interview to the press magazine once, we know everything about the global problem of poverty. What we can't figure out is how to reduce it in practical terms. We won't be able to fully achieve the set targets of the eight MDGs by 2015 as envisaged. So we have important work ahead for the next year, for 2015. Together, we need to draw on past experiences on what worked well, what has worked less well, and come up with post-2015 ideas to improve our fight against poverty and to end poverty in our world. Hence the decision of the European Union to nominate 2015 the International Year for Development. With this we want to raise awareness among EU citizens and elsewhere around the world of, um, to encourage debate like today's one and to act as a catalyst for policy development. This is why we are here today. The European Union, together with UN, UNDP and partner universities, established the Kapuczynski Development Lectures. Over 15 Kapuczynski Lectures took place since 2009, and in 2015, at home, in the EU member states, 28 member states, we are also holding, in each country, a Kapuczynski Development lesson, um, Lecture. We see this as a contribution to a development debate that we want to be creative, allow to think out of the box, and spark further interest in finding solutions. So it's indeed a pleasure to be here, as I said, and to welcome Mr. Aron Marevi and his lecture on challenges of urbanization. So we are live streaming this event, so um, I've been told to encourage you all to participate in the debate uh, and to follow us on Twitter um, with hashtag KDL. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of UNDP, I'd like to thank the, the European Commission and the uh, House University, University of Cape Town, and particularly Aroma Marrevi for accepting this uh, invitation. Uh, thank you all for, for coming here. Uh, it's really a pleasure uh, to be here. So far we did uh, most of the lectures in, in Europe. This is actually the first lecture in, uh, in Africa. And I think as uh, in, the, in the writings and, and, and books of Kapuscinski, which was mentioned by, by Gordon uh, before, um, he really was, um, uh, was uh, uh, bringing um, to us Europeans, uh, Africa much closer. And he was, uh, I think he was convinced that the world begins here, uh, actually, as, as we can see at the beautiful Cape Point uh, and other places. Um, and um, I think that this is, this is also important that, uh, and, and also interesting for us, that you uh, have, I understand, very relevant um, uh, speaker here. Uh, with relevant experience uh, to your uh, issues, problems, opportunities as well, uh, like Aroma Ravi uh, today. Um, uh, I would like to encourage you as well to people sitting here in the, in the audience, uh, you could also comment or ask questions through Twitter if you have, uh, if you're connected through your uh, mobile devices. Uh, we are also slowly trying to introduce the, the new hashtag, which is Cup Talks, uh, um, like uh, Kapuscinski Talks. Uh, so enjoy the lecture. Thank you very much. <laughs> 